Daisy, give me here. Look, Daisy. Hey. Hello. Luna. Come here, Luna. Come here, Luna. <gasps> Come here. Hey, Luna. Hey, Daisy. Hey, girls. Hi, guys. It's Grace and Dariel. And today, our video is just going to be about Michaela. Yeah. And y'all should stay tuned to this channel because we're gonna make some with all of us, including Darielle and, and Angel and Ashley. Everybody you see basically see on the, our opening, you know, ding, 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 ding. that, yeah, basically what you see. So, all of them. So, oh. Life in the Hemp is not just about vlogging and everything, our video is also about family. Yeah. So, this video is like our dad, he's like trying to be like a supporting father so yeah. that's why we're doing this video today and just go to your dad and give him a hug and if not go to your mom whoever is your guardian go to them and just say thank you and I'll see you guys after the video bye out here in Mississippi, but I moved to Memphis when I was about four. So, what are some of your accomplishments? Is I won uh, first place in my swim meet when I was in uh, second grade. I'll show you my uh, ribbon. Mm -hmm. uh, another one was uh, I won basketball championships when I was in seventh grade. You see my shirt. Mm -hmm. And the housemates is uh, I'm the daughter of Mr. Abram. Good looking man. So, what are your aspirations? My passion is basketball, but I can even play a power forward, center, or point guard. It depends on what's needed. I could dribble the ball, uh, fight in the paint, or uh, guard the basket. So, what's your plan of group? A plan of growth for me is being happier for other people's success because I, I hate losing. So I just need to be happy for other people's success. One of Martin Luther King Jr.'s quotes says, the surest way to be happy is to seek happiness for others. Now we're down to the last question. It all depends on how you answer this. If you're gonna get this 30 points tonight, I'm gonna get you. Connect to the Renaissance and Reformation and the Enlightenment today. Can you do it? Um, I'm just part down. Can I read it to you? A connection to the Renaissance Reformation and Enlightenment to today is Margaret Cavendish's idea of we have no power at all over natural causes. Man cannot have absolute power. This can relate to our pres presidency today because how the president's power is limited and he cannot have absolute power over everything. Another connection to the Renaissance, Reformation, and Enlightenment to today is Montesquieu's idea. The power of the government should be separated into separate branches. This can relate to our legislative, executive, and judicial branches of government. The Renaissance and Enlightenment period uh, brought a new way of thinking. So can I. Like, some people think you know, doing bad things and making bad choices makes them cool, but I can bring a new way of thinking like the Renaissance and Enlightenment did and show that doing bad things is cool. It's about helping other people. Is it not?
said. All it's right. Up. We're going to start with some few questions. Mm -hmm. Give me a little bit back to your Not background. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> dad. Mississippi, but I was moved to Memphis. And I looked at camera. Well, I look at camera. But now that is a pretty good looking man. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I hope you guys like this video. And this video is a little different. Yeah, we know. And we just wanted to make it fun for you guys. And. I hope you guys like our next video. Our next video might be a little different too because we're doing the slime challenge with two special guests and three special judges. So I hope you guys like that. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, share this video with friends and family, and just be ready for next time. Bye.